dead boat, dying peoples. Let's talk about it. So we got to speak on this situation that's forming, that's looking very, very spooky between the BRICS. That's Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa are coming together as an alliance to challenge the U.S. dollar and its petro status. And this is not getting reported on the mainstream news. Obviously, it's not getting any coverage for real. I mean, it's independent sources like myself speaking on it. But what does this mean for the United States and its citizens moving forward? Like, like what y'all don't understand is the reason why we stand in power and we able to travel and do what we do is because of our dollar. Our dollar holds weight due to the fact that you can only trade oil, you know, with the dollar. So if you ain't got the dollar, you can't trade oil and you can't do none of that. So China, being the new superpower that it is, is now saying that Yuan will now replace the dollar. And now they have all these countries backing them up. Now, people might sit back and ask, well, why all of a sudden China... And I mean, all these countries is back in China and siding with China is because China has been the superpower. You got to understand when you look at your products, where does it come from? China. So China has been infiltrating the United States for years. And now they're in position to make their power move by getting all these countries together. China having a million plus man army, Russia having a, you know, damn near about the same um, this is what they speak of in biblical prophecy, speaking of the two million man armies and stuff like that, because now you got all the other world superpowers all coming together to get on the bully. And the first step is to devalue our currency and turn us into a third world nation. So if you want to see the United States like Dominican Republic, like Haiti, you know, like Cuba, any of these places. Wait until the dollar loses its value where you can't go buy anything with it. And this is where our government has put us at. So now we're leave with left with no choice but to go to war. Because now you stripping us from our 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 freedom of trade. You know, taking the dollar away is gonna force us to have to go to war now with these countries. And this is with the deep state wanted the whole time. They wanted to pin us against China, against Russia. Um, but I think the play that just went in that's real spooky is that Mexico is joining the BRICS nations. And Mexico, obviously, you know, you got you got to come through that channel, you know what I mean, to get to the United States. It's same with Canada. So you got all these different channels and you got all these different things that can lead you to the United States through Canada and through Mexico. So now that you got the Mexicans and you know they feel some type of way because they like, yo, the, U the U.S. took our land. Like, you know, you got to remember Texas, California, Nevada, Arizona, Utah, you know, Montana, all these places used to belong to Mexico. And the United States deboed them. So you know Mexico wouldn't have it no better way but then to return the favor and let China and Russia come on up to attack uh, the United States from the south. And then obviously, you know, Russia can come from the north through Canada because everybody is now tied to the United States. Everybody now has, they see the opportunity to now strike and conquer the giant. Now, this leaves us in a very spooky situation because us as African so-called Americans, which we're not, we're Native Americans to this land, what do we do? Do we fight for the old regime to keep them in power when we couldn't even get reparations? They've enslaved us here, have put you know drugs in our communities, poison our food, our water. Do we want to keep these people in place? And if we decide to turn on our government, what will the new regime do with us will they give us back our land or will they enslave us look how china does their people as the leader of this new BRICS uh nation like china is the worst environment i would never want to live in china so us as melanated people we have no choice but to fight for the existing regime because 
this this one is the one that at least we have a little bit of freedom and democracy, you know, even though they're they're planning and, you know, destroying us every chance they get, you know, we still have the illusion of freedom with China. I think we going back in cages if they had it their way because they don't like blacks, Muslims or anything, you know, and even though China is now brokering world peace and bringing, you know, Shiite Muslims and Sunni Muslims together never has been done before. So they're breaking records uh, in the Middle East when it comes to bringing people together all about the money. China just sees you as a customer and they know that they're the leader in this new regime that's about to come afold. But it's real spooky because we're going to see the dollar collapse, I believe, this year. And you think inflation is bad now, it's going to go through the roof. That's the next step. And we're going to be stuck in a situation to where we're going to have to fight for something that we don't believe in and we don't love because the whole world is against us. Nobody likes the nigga. And especially what we've been turned into. You know, the world outside of America looks at us as, you know, already know, the capital F, the capital G. I can't say the words, but you know what I'm talking about. They don't respect us. They don't respect our military. So now they see us as weaker as we ever been. And now they're going to plot to attack us. And I just want to know what people plan on doing because nobody wants to talk about it. We're distracted with Donald Trump about to get arrested and all this other crap. But nobody's talking about the American dollar just got its fate sealed um, with this new agreement. And, you know, if Saudi Arabia comes in, um, I think it's really just going to be checkmate. And it, there's not going to be nothing we can do but to drop nukes and just, you know, just like any other fallen nation. You know, we're going to go out for ours, but it ain't ours to even go out for. So, you know, I just want to know, man, what y'all think we should do, man. I want y'all to get in the comment box, man. Do y'all feel that we need to go to war with the United States to protect this corrupt regime that has enslaved us in order to keep any type of sovereignty for ourselves? Or do you feel we need to side with the BRICS when they do come because this new war will be fought on American soil? Do we side with those and try to overturn this regime or should we fight for it because we don't know where we might end up? which might be back in slavery. But I want y'all to get in the comment box, man, and tell me what y'all think. Y'all like, subscribe, share, hit the notification tab so y'all can tap in every time I drop a video. It's your boy, Don Peoples. Dead boat. Gone.